Happy New Year. I have a new planner system to show you and it's pretty similar to the one I used last year but I have some different style of planners and I want to show this to you guys. So um, the basic system is this is a rings and strings A6 for everyday stuff and work. Um, this is an A6 traveler's notebook just for stuff that doesn't fit in here pretty this much. This is a Hobonichi, Hobonichi Weeks. <laughs> That I'm using as a journal and then this is an Erin Condren that I use um, as my main planner it keeps everything in one place Start with a flip through of this one um, this type of planner is pretty new on the market and I was really lucky to get one in a pre-sale from Aura Estelle and it's really appealing to me because it has rings for travelers notebook inserts and the strings I mean and rings so I was struggling between rings and strings, rings and strings all last year, and I didn't want to do that this year. I was trying to make myself just pick one, and I couldn't seem to do it, so <laughs> this one's perfect. Um, the thing is, I just like rings for things like lists or things that I only need one or two pages of, but I really like the notebooks for my calendar because um, they just stay all in one place and they don't get lost. So. That's, this is where I ended up, and I really like it's it. It's from Biggle Bean Studio. It's a laminated daily goal. You can punch it. I'm just going to keep it here. Um, but I like. I would like to start a routine of making one goal every morning. Um, this flap opens up, which is really cool. This is from Green Tea Designs, a clear dashboard. And I put my goals for morning and evening routines on there. Just as a reminder, a monthly insert that's really simple. Um, I like that I can just do birthdays or whatever and then set some goals for separate areas. So I like that. This is from Jacinia Printables and then these tabs are from Rose Colored Days. So that's just simple, easy. And then I have a daily insert from Creatively Planned. This is so cute. This is my first time using it. This was yesterday, so that's all filled out. Here's today, which I haven't really filled out yet, and I like that it has an area for journaling. This is perfect for me. It's got functional areas, but also areas I can decorate. This is from Brooklyn Grace. Love this. It says, be patient with yourself, darling, and that ties in with my word of the year, which is grace. Um, I just want to show I'm hard on myself and I've noticed I can be hard <laughs> on my oldest son because he's a lot like me so um, just want to be more patient with him and with myself show us grace and carry myself that way so um, that's just something I'm working on personally and I thought that'd be a good word this insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. and it's just a forward planning, letting me know quickly at a glance which dates are coming up, birthdays, holidays. And these are from Biggle Bean Studio, these days, or months I mean. <laughs> this is from Sessa V. I just really like this postcard so I punched it in there. And on the back I wrote the definitions of grace. And then here, it's kind of hard to see, but I have this, there's this piece of writing that I just love. Um, I'll put a link to it. It's very encouraging, very, very wise, and I just printed it on vellum and stuck it in there so I could read it. I just like it. It sums up my life philosophy pretty well. This is from Simply Gilded. I just really like these cranes and the idea of new horizons for the new year. It's just something nice to see. And then more birds. <laughs> These are from Paper Dove Shop. And this is the papers from the Planner Society. And then this little die cut pocket is from Pollywog Plans. This is a really cute invention of hers. More Planner Society. Here's my weekly insert. So um, it'll take me a minute to find my groove with A6 Weekly. So it's on four pages. And here's this week. This is a Simply Watercolor Co. kit. And the insert is from Printable Kate. So here's what it looks like blank. You have listing area here, and then your full vertical boxes. So what I would like is to get it more functional than what I did this week. 
this is more decorative, um, but I would like for it to be more like habit trackers, things like that, checklists. Um, that's more what I need in this planner. My note section is simple. It's just a grid insert, more mom and son and planner society. Um, so I just have a grid and notes in there and then I have a list section too. This is from Polywog Plans. All my dividers are from Brooklyn Grace. So um, this list insert is from Be Happy Plans. It's a printable and I love the marble accent. It's really cute. And then my work section, um, like I said, we run a marina, it's small. Um, that's it right there. So I put a picture of it in there. So I have my contacts in here for people that rent slips and just things I need to track for work. And then my family section, I have another die cut holder. And here, um, this is one of my favorite inserts. It's from Peanuts Planner Co. And she just has a task and then all the months that you can check right off. So I do have my home stuff on here, like replacing things, decluttering, changing toothbrushes, things like that. And then I also use this for our bills here. I have another one from Printable Kate that I use to track my husband's invoices that he sends out for work. A 52 week grid from Peanuts Planner Co. to jot down um, sensory bin ideas for my two year old. He really likes those. So um, they keep him busy. And so I thought it'd be good to come up with some different ones for the year. And then I also use one of these from Peanuts Planner Co. to write down service hours of places that I take the kids. I also use one of these for contacts for the marina for work. And then my shopping insert is planner stuff basically. I love this from Fox and Pip. That's so cute. Another die cut holder. So let's see. I have my orders and that Be Happy Plans list insert. What else do I have? Oh, my kits. Um, I plan out my kits for the year so I don't overbuy, and I like to pick out special ones for holidays and stuff like that ahead of time. So I highlighted weeks that I'll want a certain kit and then the rest of them I write in pencil <laughs> and because I'm known to change until it's like actually in my Erin Condren, then I put it in pen. I love this mail to send um, insert from Peanuts Planner Co. because like thank you cards. Um, things like that. I like to keep track of what I sent. And I think that's it. And then back here I have a project insert. Um, I just put this in here because in my experience I'm not really sure about what I need in the planner until I start really using it. So I put this in here. It's just I like the insert and I just thought it might be useful if there's something I forgot about. So that's why that's in there. And then, oh, this is from the Amber Locket. I love her velvet um, bookmarks. They're so beautiful. This I made with some confetti from Amazon. Here's my cleaning tracker, which I love. This is from Creatively Planned. Put that there. So here's December. Oops, here's December. So you have room for your daily, your weekly stuff, monthly tasks, and then I like that she has if there's time and stuff I didn't get to. So that's what it looks like. I use it for cleaning and tracking stuff like when did I clip the baby's nails, things like that. Here I have more minis from Cadence Mom Shops. She has a ton of mini, or teenies, she calls them teenies. And then I have some, just some stickers back there. So that's my everyday workhorse planner and then the extra stuff that I don't use as often I'm keeping in here. I have a, another pocket with stickers that I use in this type of planning. This one's from Ribbon and Nib. And then these dividers are from Planner Press. This is a new invention that she has where it's dividers with tabs for your TN so it's really nice. And this dashboard is from Planner Press too. So I just have a notes insert. Um, it's always good to have that 
Just, you never know, and you're gonna have to just stick something in there. And then I have a self-care insert from Be Happy Plans. So this is, I have um, a plan with me on this type of insert. So if you're interested in that, you can watch that, um, what I use that for. So this is just a sort of a forward journaling, like setting goals for the week that are related to self-care. So I really like that one. And then this is my decluttering workbook from Lights Planner Action. I've been working on getting the clutter out of my house and I try to do that every year and this workbook has been really useful. I love the tips in it and the stuff from the um, Spark Joy book. She has quotes from that in here, which is great. Really extensive checklist, something you want to work on. She's thought of everything. <laughs> here I have um, I do some PR work for shops. I'm not doing as much now as I was last year, but um, I do have a few, so I keep the shop owner's info here in case I want to send them a thank you, and then lists of things that they've sent me to make sure that I use everything. This is from Ribbon and Nib. I love her vellum. This is really cool. It's from Rifle Paper Company, and it's about a six size, so I wanted to use it as a travel journal, so I'm keeping it in here. So these are my planning planners, and these are my memory keeping planners. So the Erin Condren is mainly because I love using sticker kits, and um, I really enjoy that. It's a creative thing that I just love to death. So um, I want to keep doing this, and I like that it has a whole year, well, plus in this planner. Um, in one spot that is sort of a safeguard in case I <laughs> change all the other stuff which I could do so um, it just keeps everything straight and keeps it all together and it's really pretty to flip through so I do a little bit of a mix of um, functional and memory stuff in here so here's this week I haven't filled anything in yet it's only Tuesday um, but I'll go back and do that so it's more of like a back planning type of thing that I just have for fun <laughs> and that I really enjoy that so um, I didn't want to give that up I wanted to keep that going and then my journal this is cute this is a cute way to journal I thought so I have the weekly on one side and then just whatever on the other side and then in the back it has a whole bunch of note pages so this is my New Year spread I just reflected on last year and then I wrote down some things that are coming up this year that are on my mind so um, and then this mini scene is from the crafty banana Little things that I don't really consider planners but they're related um, this is a micro foxy fix and I use it to keep stuff about our house so we have an older home that we're always working on and fixing up so I like to keep the measurements, um, decorating ideas, renovation ideas. I also have um, my contacts in here, like my address book and um, our passwords. So that is something handy I keep on a bookshelf by my desk. And then this Kate Spade is my wallet. And I have a planner press dashboard. I have it set up like a planner because I just take it with me when I have to go to a doctor or something and make appointments. I like to have a calendar that's updated. And um, like these were my Christmas list that I used when I went. And I also use it when I travel because I don't like to mess up <laughs> my main planners. A um, few other things I keep in here, like this was Let's see, I have like a doctor visit insert where I write down questions I have for doctors um, so I don't forget. Maintenance, vaccinations for my kids. It's more of um, an information keeper. I also keep like shopping cards, insurance cards, things like that in um, Filofax card protectors and also receipts. So that's where all that stuff goes. I just wanted to explain that in case it seemed like it was missing from my regular planners. So that is my whole system. Um, I'm really happy about it. I feel like it's as simple as I can get while still enjoying my hobby of using a bunch of planners. <laughs> so let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.